Come on down to Cinemassacre Video, where selection is the name of the game. We got comedy, drama, action, horror, movies for kids, movies for mom and dad. We got the newest releases, the hottest video games, even Laserdisc. Having a problem making a selection? Our friendly staff is always there to help out, and with our state-of-the-art database software, it's easy to find exactly what you're looking for, even if it sucks. Today's featured rental, Congo. A ragtag group of scientists, treasure hunters, and mercenaries set out on an expedition they'll never forget. There'll be danger, suspense, and hopefully everyone can put their differences aside to survive. Starring Laura Linney, Tim Curry, Ernie Hudson, Joe Don Baker, and Bruce Campbell. Cinemassacre Video in the Voorhees Memorial Shopping Center next to Caldor. Stick around to the end of the video to see what the gang's reviewing next week. Oh, hey guys, I'm just waiting for the bus. What's up? Y'all ready for Gifts for Gamers? Gifts for Gamers is a one-day charity gaming event that Too Many Games is hosting to give back to the community. It's basically a mini convention set before the holidays. There'll be YouTubers, photos with Santa, free play video games, tournaments, plus a large vendor area where you can buy the gifts for the gamers in your life. Also, there's a Fortnite dancing contest. Yeah. It's at the Greater Philadelphia Expo Center in Oaks, Pennsylvania, Sunday, December 9th, 2018, noon to 6 p.m. Most importantly, tickets are only five bucks online and all proceeds will benefit Philly's largest hunger relief organization, Phil Abundance. So hopefully you can come see me and the rest of the rental review crew and it's all for a good cause. Uh, remember to check out the description below today. Hey James, how's it going? Good. I'm gonna return this movie. I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me just mm. tell you. I guess uh, you might say you can't go wrongo when you're renting Congo. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the thing. Congo is a movie that everybody makes fun of, and uh, Bruce Campbell gets asked about it a lot. Now, I didn't know at the time when I saw this in the theater. I didn't know that um, I didn't know who Bruce Campbell was till later. I didn't start watching the Evil Dead movies till later. But every time Bruce Campbell's asked about it, he has like an answer that he always gives, and it's so funny. So I'm basically going to give what his answer is. I'm going to give it a little more detail than usual. But I had to write it down here, but. Here's how it's gonna work, all right. Let's say you're the head of Paramount Pictures and let's say that you're gonna uh, give the, the decision whether to green light this movie. So I'm gonna tell you about like who, all the people who are gonna be attached to it and you tell me yes or no. Okay. Okay, so this movie is directed, it's gonna be directed and produced by the founders of Amblin Entertainment. Uh, it's gonna be directed by Frank Marshall, the executive producer of the Indiana Jones trilogy and the Back huh. to the Future trilogy. Produced by Kathleen Kennedy, the producer of E.T. and Jurassic Park. Based on a book by Michael Crichton, the best-selling author of Jurassic Park. Written by John Patrick Shanley, who won the Academy Award for Moonstruck. Edited by Ann V. Coates, the editor of Lawrence of Arabia. Cinematography by Alan Davia, who shot E.T. Music by Jerry Goldsmith, who did The Omen, Gremlins, Poltergeist, the Star Trek films, Rambo 1 through 3, won an oh. Academy Award for The Omen, plus nominated for several others and many Grammys. Effects by Stan Winston, who made the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park, The Terminator, Predator, and Aliens. So you tell me, do you greenlight this movie? Yes or no? Yes! Congratulations, you just made Congo. Awesome! <laughs> get Taco Bell on the phone, we're gonna get product placement with it. Yeah. Get the new Volcano Burrito at Taco Bell. But hurry, at just 99 cents, a taste eruption like this won't be active for long. When Jurassic Park came out, mm -hmm. I loved that movie, and then I read the book, and then I started reading every Michael Crichton book, and uh, Congo was the next one that, that I read because mm -hmm. I knew they were making that movie. So I'm thinking this movie is going to be the follow-up to Jurassic Park. This yeah. is going to be another one of those. And uh, then it came out, and uh, nobody really talks about it since. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I also was, because you know, I was a kid with Jurassic Park, and all the advertisements for this we're like from the creators of Jurassic Park. It's like, mm -hmm. ooh, instead of dinosaurs, it's gonna be 
gorillas, which isn't as cool, yeah. but okay, I'll see. Because you had, like, yeah. you know, reptilian it, creatures, now you're having, yeah. like, simians. Yeah. It'll be, like, yeah. scary, yeah. like, gorillas, well, and, like, yeah. oh, my God, this is going to be insane, and, oh, my God, I can get a Congo watch from Taco Bell. This is going to be great. <laughs> I'm going to go to Taco Bell. Like, yeah, yeah. And then, like, I finally saw the movie on VHS, and I was like, what the fuck is this? This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I didn't even mind it in the theater. Like, I just was like, mm. okay, and then it sort of just faded from yeah. memory. Now I love this movie, but as a kid, I was yeah. really disappointed. I didn't give a shit about this movie at all. <laughs> After, like, mm -hmm. I mean, dinosaurs <laughs> yeah. and, you know, gorillas and monkeys, I don't give a shit about them. I don't mm -hmm. care. They're boring, normal animals. I want to see, <laughs> I want to see dinosaurs. Okay. So I passed on this movie until probably only about maybe two years ago. Mm -hmm. I had someone be like, hey, we're going to watch Congo. And I was like, yeah, I never watched that movie. Let me, like, watch it. And I got to say, I was pleasantly yeah. surprised by it. <laughs> I, like, you know, I, I watched it for this review, but I haven't seen it since it came out. And Me so too. Yeah. The only thing I remembered about this movie was Bruce Campbell, Diamond Laser, Gorillas. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. That's all I remember. I love this movie. I think it's actually like, it's not what I expected it to be. I thought like, you know, with all the Jurassic Park hype and stuff, you think it's just going to be a bunch of like, oh no, we're fighting gorillas. Ah, but it's, it's mm -hmm. like this, it's like this real journey that these people go on yeah. and just all yeah. the crazy like, crap they have to go through just to get into this country. But like it doesn't, yeah, but that's the thing. It takes forever for the jungle journey to start. Yeah. And then it's just kind of over. But all the stuff leading up to it is so cool. Like the plane part where yeah. they got to jump out of the plane. The part when they get to when the Jimmy airport. When Jimmy Buffett jumps out of the plane. Yeah. <laughs> I love the airport scene where they're just like drive, you know, going through and the, it's all happening yeah. so quick. And the one guy's like, oh, I don't know if I want to do this if, anymore. If this movie was just advertised as... A bunch of people go to the Congo and run into wacky adventures. I yeah. think I'd like it more, but it was advertised yeah. as the the killer gorilla movie it, from Michael Crichton. It the remind, killer gorilla, killer, <laughs> killer gorilla, McGilla gorilla, McGilla gorilla. <laughs> um, it reminds me of like I don't know why, but like Romancing in the Stone. Uh, those are good movies. Uh, yeah, I like and, Jungle uh, Adventure. Romancing in the Stone and um, oh, what's it called? Jewel of the Nile. Yeah, those are great yeah. films. It reminds me of like it's more about the journey than what's going on. But when you expect Jurassic fucking Park, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, and you that's get, the thing. And you get yeah. Kong fucking go and fuck like, yourself. Fucking Stan Winston really brought his B team to this goddamn movie. Like, I mm. never believed Amy was a real gorilla mm. at all. Yeah. The other gorillas look like garbage. Ugly. The hippos look cool. I think, ugly. That's I think ugly Amy gorilla. is cute, oh though. I thought she, oh. was, she was a cute gorilla. She oh, was like, that's what I thought at first, but then I watched it again. I'm like, why is there a talking gorilla in the movie? Like, why, yeah. Why'd you need that? Yeah. This is like, there was like, this trend for like years. Like, scientists were trying to prove that like apes can communicate with humans mm -hmm. through sign language. But now, if you look at the research now, it turns out a lot of it was just, like, totally overblown. A, and a like, lot of it was for funding. Yeah, uh, a lot of it, like, the, the, the people doing these research were clearly lying. And a lot of them have come out, but, like, un under aliases, because they all have NDAs. Are you mm -hmm. telling me Coco the Gorilla? Yeah, Coco the Gorilla, who not. they once tried to interview at some, like, panel. And, you know, because she she's the best at the sign language. They're like, Coco, what's this? And Coco kept saying the word nipple over and over again, because gorillas... <laughs> Whoa. They, they Maybe don't... she was messing with people. No, you know? yeah, Listen, but they don't understand really humor like, like that. Hey, Coco died this year. I know, yeah. I know, but... Like, you don't want to like, eat you on asshole. your gorillas. But, they know, but there's, there's, like, research now where, like... Rest yes, peace, Coco. Yeah, gorillas can communicate, but it's more like how like parrots and dogs can say words they understand what some words mean but not really like they mm -hmm. like a dog if you say go for a walk they know that word means walk because you walk them afterwards they don't understand like why we call it walk they it's it's more I, like I, that i didn't realize you're a fucking primatologist tony no because yeah. i used to be really into this and I, after the whole coco oh, died i'm like oh were there any other you know updates what? on this because this this movie like i remember from this movie yeah and i then, forgot tony because how many uh gorillas did you teach sign language oh yeah none <laughs> like, <laughs> look i'm just looking up apparently it's like this big revelation now in the scientific community <laughs> the, the gorilla sign language is Maybe a sham. I don't understand it. Sign it again. Pat. What's your Peter? Pat Amy? No. What? Hey, you know what? I think she wants a touch head. Touch head. Pat I? Amy want Pat C? Oh, Pat C. Pat C. Pat C. What's what's Pat C? I don't understand. Hey, they don't always understand me either. The box art. Nope. Oh, sucks. <laughs> um. It, 
you have to like I watched this movie on like Amazon Prime or whatever, yeah. and the art they chose, I think it was like the German poster. I, yeah. You got to look at it; it's so awful. It looks yeah, like funny. a B movie. And then the title of the film when they show Congo, yeah. it's so awful. Yeah. Um, well, the one part of the movie that I walked out of remem- remembering the best, uh, like when I left when, at the end of the movie, I was like, "Wow, that one part with the, the gorillas, like the um, the, the killer gorillas at the yeah. end, yeah. when they're like um, jumping into the lava." <laughs> And like yeah. lasers and stuff. Which they, they're like, they're like, Bucket. oh no, I fell in well, the Well, I, I like thinking they're trained to protect um, that the city of Zinj, and now that the city is destroyed, they're just like, see ya. <laughs> yeah, because because when I first saw it, I was kind of like, well, maybe they're just falling in because there's the the fucking lasers and everything's going on. Yeah. But I, I watched it again. Like, yeah, they, they are deliberately jumping. <laughs> yeah. Into the yeah. Lava. It, it's a mass suicide. It's I like, think it's weird that like the the entire movie, no one gets hurt. They jump out of a plane. Yeah. A hippo attacks mm-hmm. them. Uh, there's snakes and stuff. There's like bad rains and everything. Everybody is totally fine. Uh, the main Until- characters. A guy got bit in half by the hippo. He's dead. Really? A guy got like gets like taken out. Uh, right. Oh, I didn't. I, know, I didn't know that. I thought I know, he just um, lived. the hungry, hungry hippo. I, I know yeah. Mr. Echo from Lost eventually dies in the movie, and a couple other smaller characters yeah. die. But you're right. A lot of them are totally unscathed until the very end. Where they like, all just uh, die at once. Well, that's the thing. Like, yeah, they all like and, like first that you know what's his name, the dude from True Lies gets killed first. After he's <laughs> talking to that dude, he's just trying to be nice and everything. And the guy's like, "You know anybody from Mombasa? What's your name? Claude. Claude." That's an unusual name for somebody from, um, where, where are you from? Mombasa. Mombasa? Wow, that's an unusual name for somebody from Mombasa. Have you ever been to Mombasa? Uh, no. Then what do you know about it? When he fucking <laughs> leaves it and he gets him killed. I, I don't remember any of the characters except for um, Ernie Hudson yeah. Yeah. and uh, Tim Curry. Yeah, yeah, who are great. Yeah, they're both really good, but they're not main characters. I, I, well, yeah. yeah, that's what I would point out. This whole yeah. movie is made up of character actors. No, There's yeah. no, like, leading man or leading lady yeah. in this. It's always actors yeah. you see as supporting yeah. characters. <laughs> So it's like, oh, okay, yeah. well, that's kind of interesting. Even Bruce Campbell, like, and, yeah. and now seeing it, knowing who he is, the, the, basically his role is the same thing as in Evil Dead. He just turns, screams at the camera, <laughs> and then that's it. He's done. <laughs> he, he, Ernie Hudson's great, even with the accent and his whole character. Oh, his character is amazing oh, yeah, in this yeah, movie. No, I fucking awesome. loved him in this. He's mm-hmm. totally, like, believable the way he sounds. And in my opinion, like, I would think he was, like, a British, like... It, you know, this, this mercenary type dude living in Africa, he's pretty cool. I don't know, he's mm-hmm. badass. And it, it mm-hmm. sucks he, he wasted that character on this movie. Yeah, yeah. Like, I really like oh, Ernie yeah. Hudson. I met him a bunch of times. He's like cool. the nicest dude. Yeah, he's a really too, good actually. actor. Yeah, yeah. And this should have been like his, hey, this guy can be a leading man. But it was a huge disappointment yeah. and eventually did like the shark attack movie. Oh, or something. He, uh, <laughs> he also did, uh, you know, to be a master. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon card uh, training video where yeah, he's thanks, happens Congo. To be, he happens to just be bringing his son to a Pokemon card tournament and this like fucking weird dude is just <laughs> doing this awful Pokemon card video and he's like bothering Ernie Hudson. Karen, um, I don't want to talk about oh, Pokemon yeah, family. We gotta talk about talk Congo. About Congo. Did you know that there was going to be a Super Nintendo and a Sega Genesis game based on Congo? Really? Well, yeah. um, It got uh, cancelled. When I was a uh, transferring the tape for this episode, there's a preview for a CD game of Congo. Really? And it looks like this like first person Doom kind of oh, thing. And I really? I doubt it is anywhere as cool it's, as it looks in the trailer. Yeah. It's probably like a really <laughs> shitty game. <laughs> well but like the trailer made it look awesome. Like, oh I gotta play that game. <laughs> I, I think like much like how the the Starship Trooper video games are awful even though they shouldn't be. Yeah. Uh I kinda want Congo and Star Troopers to have um rail shooters in like an Oh arcade. that'd be great. Yeah. The, the Congo shooter. If you're just lasering yeah. gorillas, yeah. lasering and gorillas and, and shit. Um, like, except that you ever notice the gorillas in this look like look like the fucking Morlocks from a time machine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're awful. Which Stan Winston eventually did years yeah. later. So this was his test, I guess. Uh, so you've read the book, right? Yeah. I heard that like the I don't know if the movie explains it, but I think in like in the book, like the gorillas might be like part human or something. There's something to suggest that. Where in the movie, oh, yeah. they never really... They explain that there were a generation of gorillas uh-huh. trained to protect the diamonds. 
But I don't know yeah. how why that makes them mutated mm-hmm. and pale. Yeah, I don't remember. They, I, I read it like back when <laughs> Jurassic Park came out. Oh, okay. like, so it, like shortly after that. So I, <laughs> boy, it was so long. So ago. the movie does a few things awful, aside from uh, you know just the exposition. You're not a thousand percent sure why they need that laser and how it affects communications and satellites. Like they're gonna, yeah, they're making a satellite killer. They're using it for communication. They need the diamonds to put in all the satellites. They don't go too much into it. It's just jo- Joe Don Baker screaming and breaking monitors about it. Yeah, you're yeah. like. But why? Like, this is uh-huh. my cash cow. I'm like, but why? <laughs> Just tell us what the diamond does. <laughs> Other than shoot a laser. I don't know how that helps with communication. I, I like, uh, I, I want to know where the uh, dead Bruce Campbell, like, prop is. <laughs> <laughs> holding the diamond. Yeah. <laughs> also, what's kind of weird is, like, so they come into the Congo and, like, they show them getting shot down with a bunch of stinger missiles. Yeah. yeah. And then they show another plane going into the Congo, getting shot down also, and everyone's dead. But then their way out is a slow-moving hot air balloon yeah, and to get back home. And they're heat-seeking rockets coming at them. <laughs> so you think it would be a lot easier to hit a, like a fucking hot air balloon than it would be to hit a plane. Whoa, whoa. But by, by, by the way, they're like, oh, I hope the wind blows us somewhere good. It's like, everywhere you've been to in this country has been worse than yeah. the last. What makes you think you're going someplace good? <laughs> you went from like a, like a coup d'etat happening at the airport to a volcano murdering everything. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like, like a bummer of an ending. Yeah, and, and you're talking about how the heat seeking rockets will hit the, the hot heat balloon. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know, if, if, if I had a a rocket thing and they're like oh look it's the enemy like a hot air balloon is very peaceful yeah why would <laughs> that's you, true why would you shoot that down? maybe they think it's just like you know someone yeah. going ballooning there's a wind i hope it blows us someplace good me too the one the main guy with with uh amy I hate him. That hate whole him. relationship is weird. Yeah, it's it's just honestly, out of all the other characters, everyone else is interesting. Like Karen Ross is like the CIA kind of tough, you know, chick. Mm-hmm. And then uh, even the the other guy, I don't understand why they needed the the main guy, and then they needed the True Lies guy. Yeah, they should have, have no just been why. the True Lies guy yeah. or something. Yeah. But I guess yeah, because, because they wanted to kill one of them off the, or the other, something. Yeah. And, the, like the main guy, who who is that? I don't know. I forget his it, name. It, it's like low rent or even yeah, well, that, that's like, like it's like low rent Steve Gutenberg. Yeah, yeah. It's like Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> not quite like Jeff that. Bridges. Not quite Steve Gutenberg. Not yeah. quite like '90s guy. Yeah. And everyone else is cool except for him. He's the lamest. He's so boring and, and bland. His, his relationship with the gorilla is really disturbing, especially since you know it's probably like a tiny yeah. woman in the well, costume. They make that whole thing like where and they're like, like husband and wife. And they, yeah, they that was weird. Too. I don't know. I just felt like I he, couldn't get past that it was a person in a costume, and he's like talking to how he's like he almost seems yeah. like he's in love with it. I'm like, I don't like this. I don't yeah. like this at all. And she's like, ugly woman, ugly, ugly woman, uh, woman. It makes me want to have like like a, t- a hot toy for some woman. When the fuck does come out? Ninety five. Yeah, yeah. So that's the summer, uh, the holiday ninety six. It's a uh, tickle me, Amy. <laughs> they made an Amy toy. Yeah, no, my they friend. Did. They made, they made an did. Amy she's toy. Like, did you tickle it? No. <laughs> Not like I that. It's it. like a figure. They were Tickle Me Elmo. <laughs> yeah, but th- th- there were Congo toys. Yeah, there they were used Congo to toys. sell them at this, like, dollar store. It was, like, the 99 cent and up store, it was called, which I was like, isn't every store kind of fucking 99 cents and up? Because uh, it's like... One cent and up Yeah, store. like, yeah. what is... Like, I, um, I just remember the big Taco Bell push with this, and I remember it because years later, Godzilla had the big Taco Bell push. Oh, I yeah. I don't think that's happened in a long time, like... I had that What's like like a like a fast food place did a big push for a movie. They like, they hmm. kind of stopped because I don't know. Yeah, so people can be healthier. Some stupid shit. I don't know. So <laughs> people could be healthier. <laughs> hey man, Taco Bell. I should have wore my Taco Bell shirt yeah. <laughs> from Demolition Man. Um, yeah. You know what's funny? Like all you those big names attached earlier, that you mentioned. Right? Mm-hmm. Like this is a movie everyone should have been hyped for. Yeah. But um. Delroy Lindo, who plays like the the warlord, and Joey Pants from The Matrix, who's just the guy Pants. at the airport. They went uncredited in this movie, and really? they weren't like huge A listers. But I guess they had enough foresight to go. I don't want my name on this. No. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. I'm doing the Matrix in a few you years. Know, oh, another answer Bruce Campbell's given. They said, "So, do you have any regrets for Congo?" And he goes, "No, the check cleared." <laughs> Yeah, that, that's a very Harrison Ford answer. That's a great day. Like, he probably didn't even go on location. He probably filmed it on I mean, a sound stage. Thing. It looks like it was straight up like on a green screen almost. Like, hey, the bro. scenes where he's like filming and he gr- and he shoots the laser, yeah. that was like a room. Yeah. That yeah. was like, you know, he yeah. probably went into one place, filmed real quick for like 
you mm-hmm. know, one day probably. Mm-hmm. He was probably needed it's more short, than a day. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, but probably got paid like. One thing I will say, this has my much. favorite PG-13 kill in a movie. A lot of people think like PG-13, oh, they cut away from the violence, but sometimes it works. Tim Curry's death in this movie. Mm, when they like, my memory again. they all like the gorillas hover over him and it cuts to a wide shot. The gorilla lifts up its fist, comes down. It just cuts to black real yeah. quick. It's more like what I don't know. Yeah, for some reason, that effect, effect too. the oh. sound effect, the way it's edited, like how fast paced is. For some reason, that is such a good yeah. PG thirteen. You can kill tell they me. blew his head off. Like with the yeah, yeah. Like, you don't you like, don't even need to see it. You just know the force of that gorilla coming yeah, down. You're yeah. like Tim Curry, fucking dead. I don't think there's one real why. gorilla in this movie. No, there's a. I think there is a real gorilla, right? Well, I, I can Tuck tell in. you. I can tell you one fake animal. At one point, they put like equipment on a rock, and there's a fake scorpion oh, sitting yeah. there. <laughs> you want to see a real gorilla? Oh, oh that's oh. perfect. Is that Amy? Is that Amy's there mother? Amy, she is. Amy, angry. He just <laughs> shot this girl like four times. Is the gorilla saying bad girl? <laughs> good, good, good. Amy, Amy, Amy. Yeah, it's, it's the same stupid suit that's in like every <laughs> movie. I like her um, face. <laughs> Look at that girl. Is mauling that oh, guy. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. yes. oh well, he's dead. You know, James, I have a question for mm-hmm. you. I, it, 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 you know, who do you think has more action figures made after them? Like as characters, or you know, it's them as an action figure. Uh, Tim Curry or er- Ernie Hudson? Ernie well, I would imagine Ernie Hudson for Ghostbusters. Yeah, but yeah. you got to realize Tim, Tim Curry's, Curry's voiced so many things like cartoons, like uh, Anastasia. I know oh, he's he also sort of a darkness legend figure. Yeah. There's got to be a, a an action figure of like Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I wonder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you got to realize in uh, I don't think I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't get an action figure in Congo, but Ernie Hudson did. So yeah, Ernie Hudson would make if more anyone sense. wants to do research on who has more action figures, Tim Curry or Ernie Hudson, I'd like to know. Please let us know. Um, like, man, you know, there's, uh, there's uh, Anastasia, I think was he? No, um, 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 well, I'm going to keep snapping until I figure it out. Uh, the oh. rainforest. Wild the, thornberries? No, it's a rainforest in the Fern Gully. Fern Gully. Oh. <laughs> Fern Gully. He, he's the bad guy in Fern Gully. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I hate Fern Gully. I'm, um, sorry, and I'm, I'm sorry. I know that's gonna get like I, I've never seen Fern That's gonna get yeah. flack just like uh is Street Fighter Alpha? <laughs> but let me tell you, I Fern Gully is the kind of movie that like I haven't seen it in a long we time. We would get sad in front of and watch it and we, like we can watch There was Fern things Gary. I liked about it, but there was I don't like here, we're talking you know about Congo. I'm not going to yeah. mention it, actually. Yeah, yeah it's I'm jungle not going to talk about it. I'm going to yeah. make a lot of people angry if I start talking about um, animators I don't like, I guess. Uh, uh, why didn't they get David Coep to write the script, like with Jurassic Park? Instead, they got John Patrick Shanley, famous playwright. I filmed one of his plays, Danny in the Deep Blue Sea, <laughs> which is why I own this shirt. I don't own any other okay. shirts based off a of play. And uh, like he only ever did like Moonstruck, which is like a the romantic thing. Mm-hmm. Why did they she think? Won the oh, award, yeah, yeah. Why, oh, yeah. This guy will do a great action movie. Like, just mm-hmm. get get David Coe from Jurassic Park. Just get anyone who's written yeah. an action movie. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's weird because there's action scenes, and then for a second it's like Lord of War, where they're like having to get in the country and all that yeah. stuff. It feels like two or three different movies at once. Yeah, yeah. and that definitely comes down to the writing and screenplay. And uh, I, well, I do love the stop eating my sesame cake. My sesame. Stop oh, eating man. my sesame cake! I love yeah, that he's scene like, where he's screaming he at Tim Curry. I love how everyone hates Tim Curry in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they do. Every character who meets Tim Curry, they're like, "What the?" Like Delroy Lindo, he's like, oh, "What oh, the he, fuck?" The are the characters. Yeah, I thought you yeah. meant that. Yeah, yeah. Ernie Hudson's people like, "Oh, this guy's it. a sham," and then yeah. Delroy Lindo's like, "What the fuck are you doing in my country?" Yeah. <laughs> he like screams um, at him. <laughs> all right. So, final words on Congo. <laughs> it's it's a fun time. I am never bored watching mm-hmm. this. But it's not a good movie. But the mm-hmm. characters are so quirky; it gets you through it. I already said the Rongo Congo thing. <laughs> so uh, let's just say I like the movie Congo, and I'm a fan of the wrestler Papa Shango. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I, I liked Congo. It's not quite as good as Jurassic Park. Not they quite. should have put that on the box. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, the guys review Creed 2. Thank you for checking out Cinemassacre Rental Reviews. Take a look at our other videos, and if you want to get some sweet Cinemassacre merchandise, head on over to store.screenwavemedia.com.